Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be playing this 2.8 cycle expo deck. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I basically just kind of like tweaked around the Drill Tornado deck and tried to make it an expo deck. So we'll see if this works. I'm going to expo on the right here. I scroll him out of cycle. I know this guy plays 2.6, so I might be able to get a lock here. I'm going to block the cannon. He might have to play it in the middle. Okay, he's going to activate king, but I'll let him have that. I'm going to knight. He might musky. Okay, let's go for the hog. So he's probably going to ice him. I know that he's back to it now. I'm going to firecracker how to get some damage on the ice golem and then see if I can like chip out the tower too. Alright, maybe one more shot on it. Oh, my firecracker kind of dodged it. Wait, he's going to have to cannon on this. Hold on, no ice spirit, no log, no skeletons in cycle. No ice golem either. Oh my god, he has no elixir. Okay, he has ice golem back now, so he's going to have like two elixir when the axe below loads in. But I can log the cannon and the ice golem and he's not going to be able to hog on time or musky or even like a cannon because I know that he's not back to cannon. So this game might be over. Yeah, this game's pretty much done. I'm going to Ice Spirit to block it. Oh, I didn't even know my one Skelly lived. But yeah, I'll take the win. Um, does give me the good game. I'm not sure if he gave up though, but matchups like these are actually really easy for the deck because I've got the Tornado in there, so I can actually like activate my King with the Hog. I can't wait for him to play a Hog on offense and then I just activate King. He's not going to like that for sure, but uh, he might have just given up though. That's a lot of damage on the tower. I'll check though. Just going to Knight the middle. Just kind of testing the waters, and yeah, he should be at full right now, so I think he gave up. I'll just hop in the next game. I'll see when I find a game. Alright, on to my next game. Facing Adam again. This guy was playing Drill Nato. Last time I faced him, I think I was playing like the um, actual Drill Tornado deck. I think it was like a mirror matchup, but I'm going to just go Firecracker on the Mighty Manor. Wait, I think he's going to try and Firecracker my Firecracker, so I'm going to block it. See if he's going to do it right now, though. Oh, nice. I caught it. Really bad drill. Okay, see if he's going to pop the ability. Oh my god, that was such a bad ability. Wait, I think he got the elixir back for it though, but he should not have much. Should only have like four elixir right now. Bruh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, I'll just hop right into the next game. I'll see you when I find a game. Alright, I'm in a game. Hopefully this guy lasts a little bit longer. Gonna go for an ice spirit giant at the back. Okay, wait, I might be able to get a lock here. Giant, typically kind of a bad matchup, but depends on if he has like the giant triple spell deck or the giant minor deck. My broken firecracker is going to get a lot of value in this though for sure. I'm going to nato these back and then see if I can like ice spear here to kind of make a jump. That's going to soak up the prince hit, but the axe bow lives. Alright, he's going to have the arrows and then I can just kind of firecracker now. I can play it on the giant. Might get one shot on that tower still, but I'm down to eat that damage though. I think I'll be fine. He's going to have to spend on this anyways. He might have to go dark prince or zap on this, so I don't really mind. He's probably going to zap though. If you time the zap right, you can actually kind of like defend the firecracker, so... Probably going to do it right about now. Oh, he mistimed it. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. Wait, that was like 3809 to 3389. That's like 420 damage. Wow, I didn't know Firecracker did 420 on the tower. I'll take that for sure. Going to log here. Dark Prince in the back. Thing about this deck is I can't really beat matchups like Hog Earthquake, but I can definitely beat the normal Hog deck though, like you guys saw in the first game. And I also can't beat RG because Evo RG is going to be impossible to defend. Although I've kind of been like beating it with this deck. I beat it like twice, I think. So if I face it, I'm probably going to beat it. Because I'm kind of getting used to like the cannon and the Evo RG interactions and all that stuff now. So I'm kind of getting used to the deck. Adapting to it, I guess, in a way. But just going to cannon here. Then I'll go knight. I don't really have skellies or anything. So knight will have to do for now. And then I think Lava Hound is also like a really bad matchup. Because I only have one firecracker. But Evo firecracker definitely carries in that matchup though. Alright, so kind of looking through his deck this guy is not playing the miner so this is actually not that bad of a matchup i feel like i'll be able to beat this for sure I'm gonna ice spear oh he zapped my tower so he can't defend that now okay i'm gonna time it at the same time he goes prince the back as i know they were even oh nice wait giant low oh that's a million damage on the tower that's like two shots at least give it to me one more that would have been three if the double elixir didn't bail him out and then he was able to fireball out my firecracker but two shots took his tower down to like what 1382 from what like 3102 or something i don't know i wasn't counting damage but that was like a lot of damage on the tower they're definitely over like 2k damage i'm gonna firecracker on the side again then i'll go tornado too to kind of like line them up at the same spot and then i'll get damage on the tower Ooh! oh he missed wait he missed the arrows he's gonna have to zap max but to take it out all right i'll let that die too i don't really have to save the firecracker he's gonna defend it anyways so i'm gonna go for the ice spirit then i'm gonna go for like a new firecracker the back to bait out like arrows and then he's probably gonna want to oh he keeps giving me value though i'll take these i'll just go firecracker that should be like 100 damage wait he can't defend my evo cracker because i'm about to get back to it right now he's gonna have to like prediction fireball to stop it because how's he gonna do it 
All right, let's just play the waiting game now because I know that he's going to fireball. There we go. <laughs> nice. I knew he wasn't going to be able to defend the firecracker without the fireball. So he kind of had to gamble and then he lost the gamble. So I win the game. All the damage he got that game was one zap and a giant hit on my tower. Kind of feels nice. I'll take the win. All right, I'm in a game. Fisting L just to Sierra, see what deck he's playing. I'll just go cannon in the middle here to defend the split wall breaker. So probably going to be the firecracker bats deck. That's actually a really good matchup. One of the best matchups in the game for any expo deck because they don't really have a mini tank. But they do have like a really fast cycle though, so should be kind of careful. I'm going to skellies here on the miner. All right, not too bad. And then I can expo with this because I know that he's going to bomb tower, so I'm going to block it with the knight. I'm definitely going to knight here to block the bomb tower. Nice. Okay, so no Marty Miner in the deck, so he's actually going to have the Firecracker and just kind of depend on it to take out my expo. Back to Miner now, he's probably going to do it. Oh, too late though. Miner in front, but the expo locks on, I'll take the damage for sure. And then I'll go Ice Spirit in front of the Firecracker, so he can't Bats on top. He probably still can, but I just don't want him to. Okay, well, yeah, he's going to be able to take out the Firecracker. Kind of annoying. But I'm going to Cracker in the back. I'm kind of up Elixir by a lot right now, so I'm going to go in. And I don't think he's going to Prediction Bomb Tower. I hope not, anyways. Okay, I'll give it to him. That was actually really good. I didn't think he was going to do it because he was already low to begin with. So I didn't think he was going to make a risky play, but that kind of paid off. That was also like a gamble, but sort of on my side compared to his side. I'm going to gamble again. Though. I'm going to predict Wallbreaker's back with this log. Okay, well, I hit the Goblin, so I'll take that. Uh, wait, man, that hit both. I don't have to defend that, right? right oh my goodness one of them makes it okay now i actually know the interaction for next time so i'm definitely gonna defend it just wanted to kind of you know try out and see if it was gonna not do any damage on my tower anyways i'm gonna ice spirit here to cycle then i'll go like evil firecracker on like anything he plays you're okay, gonna play it in the back now oh perfect i get the bats out activate king action no nah, that's not gonna do it too high yeah i thought i was gonna activate but then i also had to kind of distract the bats so i couldn't really activate I'm going to expo right here, and then um, he's going to bomb tower middle. He's back to minor in one card. I'll get back to it now. So I'm going to NATO here to see if I can hit the goblins. Oh, I hit one of them. It's on the tower. Nice. All right, good prediction, NATO. Even though that, like, barely hit a goblin, I still got damage on the tower, so I'll take that for sure. He's still going to have to spend on that. I'm going to expo on the left here because I feel like it's too obvious to go in on the right. He might prediction bomb tower. Yeah, I kind of counter-predicted that. kind of saw it coming from, like, a mile down because... It was the obvious play. It was the better play as well. I'm going to log here and then see if I can hit the wall breakers. Oh, I hit the evil cracker though. I'll take that. That's enough for me. Okay, he hit the log on my ice spirit. So that was pretty good. But my expo is going crazy on the tower. You might want to wall breakers that. Okay, I guess not. All right, I'll switch lanes now because I got more damage on the left. Actually, going to expo on the right to kind of stay unpredictable. Okay, not too bad. Going to catch the miner here. Going to log the wall breakers. All right, this should be game here. Because I hit the Ice Spirit too, so I'm going to crack or hide to see if I can get damage on the tower. On the left side, I get a lot of damage there. I'll take that. Going to Knight. And then, wait, the Firecracker is going to get one more shot on the tower. 719. That's insane. Okay, going to Tornado, see if I can hit the Bats. Oh, I did it too soon. I knew what he was going to do. I just do it too soon, man. That's a problem. But just going to Cannon here. Just going to Log. That's like a million Elixir Valley Log. I'll take that. He put the Wall Breakers into it last second too. Just going to go for a firecracker in the back. I don't want to expo right away because he's been kind of hitting like a lot of nutty plays. He's been playing like bomb tower high to predict my expo. So don't want to get caught by that. Then I'm going to go for the skellies on the miner. He's going to wall breaker. So I'm going to wait for it. Okay. And I'll go ice spirit. And then that should die. Okay. One of them is going to make it. But this game's over though. He's at four elixir right now. So bomb tower middle. I'll just kind of like prediction NATO anything in the middle once I get it back. And then I'll win the game. Oh, I caught the miner too. Only for one shot though. NATO on the goblins. Okay, he played it on the side, but I still hit like majority of them. He's gonna wall breakers on the side. Yeah, I kind of stopped like keeping track of the predictions I make this game because I've been making a lot. And I'm hitting like most of them. So I'll take the win. And that is gonna be a super easy matchup there. Gonna put me probably at like top 70. 77, not bad. I'm gonna hop right in. Alright, I'm in a game right now. Oh, this guy's a RG1 trick. So I guess we'll kind of test it out right now. Test the water, see if I can beat this. Thing is, if I had a fireball, right, this would very much be possible because I can actually defend the RG. Now I'm kind of better at defense now because I like adapted to the EVO RG. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like if I'm able to somehow get damage on the tower, firecracker definitely like a good source of damage, but I need something like a spell, like a rocket or a fireball to win the game. I'm going to firecracker though, see if I can pull this off. going to log here, lock on the Barbara. No, that would have been so nice if the firecracker just like shot it and then 
stayed alive, kind of forcing him to play the lumberjack on the knight and eating like a lot of damage with the firecracker. But I'm gonna native this to my king, gonna knight, gonna cannon high. Ice spirit to kind of make sure I play good defense. He's probably gonna e spirit to predict this skelly, so I'm not gonna do it. Right here, he might go phoenix high, so I'm gonna keep my firecracker ready, see if I can like snipe that out. He's actually gonna goblin, so I'm gonna log. Nice, good prediction log on it. Okay, he's probably gonna fisherman, so if he does, he's not gonna have enough for RG. I'm gonna ask him on the left. See if I can like get a log. I know that he's gonna be back to bar barrel with the lumberjack though. Oh yeah, he's kind of back to bar barrel now. This is annoying. I would have been able to get so much damage there if I had enough for knight, but I'm gonna have to knight on the right on defense, and then he might just go like phoenix on this though. I don't see him defending this without the phoenix. Actually, he might go e spear and then go goblins on the knight. That's possible for sure. Yeah, he's definitely going to do it. Probably going to do it on the right side. Yeah, I had a feeling because last time I predicted the goblin, so he wanted to stay unpredictable. But that also kind of leaves you like more predictable because facing a top ladder player, they're going to know what you're going to do next if you get predicted. It's all mind games, really. I don't know how to explain it, but I hope that kind of made sense. Going to firecrack at the back. I'm going to log here, and then I'll go for skellies on the fisherman and not take any damage here would have done one shot on my tower if i didn't do that but gonna knight the back Ooh, back to my evo cracker again i'm gonna have to pull some like nato stuff oh i like that phoenix in the back that's a good sign that's a really good sign right here i'm gonna log and then i'll go firecracker I'm gonna tornado yes right on the center of the tower so that's gonna be like a thousand damage you already know it wow okay i'm actually gonna win this game now i'm in a really good spot thing is i just can't go in right now though can't find the right time to go in because uh he would just lumberjack bar barrel fisherman and then try to go goblins in the middle and just go rg again defending two rg is not the best thing but i'll try though gonna cannon here gonna firecracker on the side uh i'll go log i kind of don't want to knight but i also have to knight though gonna ice spirit then i'll go skellies here and the rg should die Wait, no, don't lock on the cannon. No, I was hoping the left side RG would die, but the Lumberjack Rage kind of messed me up. Okay, only two more shots, please. Wait, that might only do one more. Wow, okay, Firecracker is not balanced. The RG just got melted by one single Firecracker. I'm going to NATO here to kind of get damage. Pretty obvious NATO by me, though. I mean, super good NATO, too, because I get damage here, but I don't know how to defend this, though. Log, I'll go Cannon, I'll go Ice Spirit, then I'll NATO this back. I'll just NATO it back. Do it like this right here so it goes back. Because sometimes like the RG does not want to go back when you NATO it back. I'm going to log here. I'm not sure that he was back to a bar barrel or not. So I kind of had to knight and then log. Otherwise, I could have like skellies and then went log. But I was kind of busy defending. I didn't really keep track of cycle. Firecracker on the side here. Don't want to play it at the bridge because the fisherman would have just kind of hooked it in. Then I'll go for skeletons here. I'll go knight over here to save my cannon. Kind of a bad knight in my opinion though, but I think I should be okay. Gonna tornado here. Oh, I was hoping on the goblins. Okay, I might have sold here. I'm gonna have to eat a lot of damage on either side. I think maybe left side is gonna do a lot. Yeah, that's the evil RG that's not gonna die. Yeah, that thing is not gonna wanna die anytime soon. Gonna firecracker. He's gonna lo uh, fireball it probably fireball question mark no fireball okay Night on the side i might go a little bit quiet here i kind of have to focus oh, okay i'm dead yeah i'm just dead log wait although i'm back to my cannon that i could probably shove it in only one shot on my tower okay it's on the cannon now what it got one extra shot no it got the last second shot too if it didn't get that i would have been up damage right now uh just gonna cannon here and then man i think i really lost a one rg shot gonna nato on the tower i kind of have to get the tower damage now i have to um spell cycle with log nato yikes i think i choked yeah he's gonna be able to get back to a fireball uh i can't even get a log down on time yeah i would have lost anyways but yeah i really choked a one rg shot though that's so annoying i could have played the defense so much better like literally all i had to do was not play the cannon into two rgs but i accidentally did it in the middle of that game so kind of cost me the game all right, on to my last game. This guy is an E-Giant player, I'm pretty sure. So it's a really good matchup. He can't kill my Firecracker or my Cannon. I think he has a Lightning, though, so gonna have to watch out. But just gonna crack her in the middle to take that out. And that last game kind of shows how perfect you have to play versus RG to win that matchup. Because I just kind of did, like, one misplay, and then I wasn't able to win the game. I lost a spell cycle at the end. But 
All good though. Uh, also kind of got unlucky with the cannon. I feel like it should not have like let the RG get two shots on the tower. But enough of that game though. I'm in a new game right now. So I'm going to log here. Then I'm going to go for skellies in the middle to pull that in. Okay, I'm going to have to crack her too. I don't want to need to activate king. Not right now anyways. I'll activate off of like something else. But yeah, don't really have to like need to activate right now. Oh, that E giant was so bad though. Going to expel. Oh, that's all his elixir right there. How's he going to defend that expel? I think he has a bowler though, but... If he does go bowler, how's he going to kill that cannon? This is looking really good. Might have to lightning my expo. I'm going to knight on the side. Okay. I was thinking if he does go lightning, he was probably going to wait for my cannon and then hit the lightning on the cannon and the expo. But I guess he had different plans. He just kind of played it at six. So now I get a free E-Giant on my side. All right. I'll take that for sure. Kind of hoping to bait out like a baby dragon with this. Okay. I'll just snipe out the brawler really. I feel like I should be able to chip out the tower a little bit. I'll play it on this spot, like right over here, though. I know I could play it in the middle and get guaranteed damage, but if I play it here, it's kind of easier to NATO stuff. Oh, I should have NATOed because I didn't think he was going to NATO right away. I thought he was going to baby dragon, so it's kind of keeping my NATO ready for that, but I'm going to knight the back here. All right. See what he does here. Michael E. John, the back, same lane. Not a bad play at all. Thing is, this guy could still win this game because. I don't have a big spell and he could just get a bowler nato down on my side like right now he actually tried to get like a few bowler hits on the tower but did not work i'm gonna firecracker then i'm gonna nato okay good damage one more shot maybe oh i'll take that i love firecracker so much that actually locked on the mega minion that i kind of switched over but all good just gonna go for skeletons up high that might get one shot on my tower the baby dragon but actually no it's not gonna do anything i'm gonna firecracker the back Michael Buller in the back. Okay, E-Giant on the side. Not a good play at all. Gonna cannon. To be honest, like, I don't know what the good play for him would be at this point. I kind of just feel bad because I know that he can't kill my Firecracker. I'm gonna NATO. Oh, nice NATO. Could have played the Broken Cracker too, but I know that he has a Bar Barrel in cycle. All right, I'm just gonna have to play it on defense now because my tower's not locking on the right thing. So I'm gonna Knight here. Lightning probably. Yeah, let's go for the Lightning. Miss my um, Kite on the Meg Minions. I'm gonna have to go for the Ice Spirit. Then I'll go Skeletons. Okay, looks like he wanted to get some free damage on the tower, but did not work out. Played a really good Ice Spirit to pull the Meg Minion back, so it actually did not do any damage here. But that E-Giant is kind of questionable. Block the Buller. Oh, Tornado. Okay. Maybe some damage on the tower, though. Nah, it's not going to do any from now on, but I'm keeping that alive. That way he has to NATO that to kill it. Then I can play my new one. Ah, oh, perfect. Nice. I just had to wait for the NATO to kill the old one, and then I played a new one to get a lot of value. He's definitely not going to like that one. Okay, I'll go for a Tornado on the E-Giant or like a Mega Minion. I'll just see what he does here. But with me having the evil Firecracker back, I feel like this game is over. I just have to hit like a Nato. All right, there we go. That is GG. I will take the win. That's going to be one shot. And then I can log here, take out the tower. Wow, look at that damage. Okay, going to Nato to finish it off actually. But I'm going to end the video there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And love you guys. Bye.